Hey guys, Cami here. Welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna do my week one check-in for October. I considered doing this as a week five for September, but I'm just done with September. You know, guys, I just I just want to be done with it, and I just I'm so excited for October. We're still gonna be checking in on some parts of September. It's gonna be from the 26th through the second. So today that I'm filming this, it's already a Friday. No, it's Saturday actually. I don't even know my days, but I'm basically binge filming stuff because I'm so behind. If you guys didn't know already, but I'm gonna I'm gonna still do the schedule that I have and I'm just more comfortable doing it that way. So if you guys don't mind, I'm gonna do that. So we're gonna be checking in from Thursday through Wednesday. So that's why I considered this between September to October, but like I said, we're just gonna do week one of october because we have five weeks of paychecks for october so that just makes a lot of sense to me and i have my little budget tracker over here that i just do on an index card and then i have my cash envelopes i do need my stickers my budget expense stickers i do sell this on my shop and i do offer different kinds of colors this is just like my little container that i have of just stuff of how i store my stickers if you guys are interested um i have them right here i think that's everything that i need i have some extra ones here i guess so we're gonna keep that over there we're gonna start like i said i think i warned you guys last week that i have a lot of spending for this week just because i have my stepmama's birthday and had some plans i guess but I don't think we have any unbudgeted and we didn't have any unbudgeted this month which I'm so grateful for because last two months we've had a couple of unbudgeted which is not good. We're gonna start with our bills and I actually need to get my bills one. Oh my god. And that one is right here for September. And I'm gonna take you guys a little bit closer. I do have my compliment card here to keep me in check of what is what but sometimes i don't even reference on this anymore just because i already know my stuff i haven't changed it for a while i'm thinking about adding something on the bottom right here i'll tell you guys all about it when i've decided to so we're starting off with the bills like i said i have bills on the 28th as well as the 30th and the 28th is my internet i already know that one so i'm gonna put internet right here and I pay $32 for my part and our internet is usually $96 and we have we divide it into three so that's why I got the $32 and I'm gonna put that right here at the top just in case we have any spending on that day which I'm sure we have and then the 30th is gonna be my electricity as well as my Candon's credit card and that's gonna be right here. I'm gonna put candles right here. And electricity over here. So my electricity is $50. And my candles is $85. I'm gonna put my electricity right here. And then my candles one down here. Hopefully we don't have any spending on this day because it's just filled up. Okay, now we're moving on to our actual spendings. On the 27th, I gave gas to my boyfriend. Like I said before, I decided to give him gas since we carpooled to work anyways. And that's going to be... I'm just going to pull up my sinking funds because it used to be my sinking funds. But it's actually not... No... And I don't have, I don't have a budget expense sticker for it. Oh my gosh. Um, hmm. Let me get another color then for my inventory. And we're going to add that for a temporary, we're going to add it for a temporary thing since I didn't even think about that. That's not the, exp the budget tracker that I was talking about that I was going to add. So what color do we not have? I think we can do orange or yeah orange is good yeah for gas so I'm gonna add this at the top and I'm gonna put gas 
And like I said, that's temporary. Since we haven't really been doing this for a while. Oh! That's the bills. Yeah, that's bills. That's not a bunch. So we're gonna count gas as bills because I do I do put it in my bills section for my budget. So I don't even know what I'm doing, guys. I'm so lost. Okay. So gas, I'll do the purple one or this one. Gas for forty dollars because that's a consistent forty dollars every month. I don't know the term for that. I'm sure there is. So that's going to be on the 27th. It's, it looks like I'm spending every day. It looks like it. Um, on the 27th as well, I got a milkshake. I'm so tempted to get milkshakes every time after work because we work um, with boxes and we also work with trailers. So it's so hot in there. And sometimes you just have to be there for a long time. It's so, so hot. So I want a milkshake every time after work but I try not to but I spent three dollars there and yep milkshake right there on 27th so that one's for my allowance I feel like I'm all over the place so I will grab my allowance sticker which is my purple one where are you and I'm gonna put milkshake for three dollars that was on the 27th. Oh, it's so purple. Okay. I see one no spend day. My goodness. On the 28th, we went to McDonald's. And I used my eating out money right here. That blue one. It'll focus. There we go. And that's going to be this blue one right here. We went to McDonald's, like I said. We tried those barbecue spicy nuggets. And they are not good. They're just pure barbecue sauce and they're not even spicy at all. So that was like a waste of money. So we went there and I got some fries. I got all that good stuff. So it was $16 because we got two of those tender thingies. So that was on the 28th. I'm leaving the space just in case I have the spending for that day. And I do have a couple so my boyfriend did the grocery Saturday well he did it on his own and then I had to go to my stepmom's birthday that's when I bought her gift which is pretty pretty late honestly like I procrastinated on that a lot it's just I haven't had the time to go to the store I didn't want to order from Amazon that because that means I have to use my card and then pay it eventually with my sinking funds because I basically have cash for everything so I wanted to just get something from the store and use my cash. So I went to Kohl's and I got her a shirt, a Nine West shirt. And they were having a sale at that time. So I only spent $15 for that shirt. It was like a silky shirt with fall colors. I don't know. I liked it. I feel like she was going to like it as well. So that was on that day. And then our groceries. It wasn't that expensive like lately my boyfriend has been doing really good doing groceries by himself except for buying the right bread he hasn't been buying the right bread and he hasn't been buying me coffee so aside from that he's been spending really well but i know this coming groceries is gonna be expensive because i'm gonna try to make sinigang for my lunch because i'm getting tired of having hot dogs and sausages for lunch so for this time around since we're working six days, I'm gonna make some sinigang for myself, which means I have to buy a lot of ingredients for it. So I you know my boyfriend did the groceries and he spent $35. It was basically a $70 um, total. I was gonna put some of my household money in here since he bought a couple of like paper plates and all that good stuff, but I was just like, nah, I'll just save that for next time just in case we need the laundry detergent because that's when it's expensive. So that's it for the 28th. We did a lot of spending there. The 29th, I I usually go to church on Sundays, but it's not a long mass. I go for a little bit and I pray. That's what I usually do. But on that Sunday, we went and I got really hungry after. I don't know why. Maybe because I didn't eat breakfast or something. I don't even remember this. That was on the 29th, so I got some Church's chicken 
only for myself and then my boyfriend got some apple pie so I went ahead and got that I waited so so long so I can get the rice ready because I always eat chicken with rice it's just a thing I like doing and it's bad for me so I used my allowance for that because I didn't have any enough for my eating out money and I spent ten dollars there purchase for ten dollars I don't know I was just really craving chicken at that time chicken and rice with gravy but that was it guys that was all my spending for these few days it's mostly the week weekends that I spend a lot on this is I need groceries and then the bills pile up stuff you have to get it's been just stressful oh I don't know why I put the no spend over there that's basically for October it's October hello I'm gonna put that in my October one. So let's see. I got a no spend right here. And then we're moving on to the check in for October. And I'm gonna put this on the first and the second. And then I'll move this one right here and i think i'm comfortable writing in pen on this page so this is a little preview for you guys if if my layout doesn't go up first you get you guys are gonna see what i came up with as far as this side goes we're gonna check in from 9 26 through 10 02 and that's week one and then our usual payments will go over here our paychecks so for groceries, we usually get 50. And then for allowance, we get 20. For eating out, we get 20. For household, we get 10. And unbudgeted doesn't matter. So for the spent for this week, to go back and forth. Um, just gonna double check. I know we spent 35 on groceries right there. So minus 35. And I'm gonna put a zero over here, and you're you probably already know why because we're gonna roll over the leftover money from our groceries of how much ever is left over there. Let's check. So this is my groceries, and so 35 minus 15 we should have no. So 50 minus 35 we should have 15 dollars in here. So we have 10. 11 12 13 14 15 and we're gonna roll that over into our october savings oh wait let me adjust this minus 15 we'll do what's today i think it's the fourth roll over and we're at zero and we're gonna cash we're gonna stuff this later i'm gonna do that video after this one I'm just trying to go in order to where it makes sense to you guys. And the next one is my allowance. So I spent some some money for my allowance. So I spent $3 for the milkshake. And then I spent $10 for the chicken. So that's a total of $13 on spending. Minus $13. Are you allowance? So we did have $64 in there because we stuffed our cash envelope last week. So minus 3 is going to be $61. Minus 10 is going to be $51. We have $51 right here. So we have two 20s, a 10, and a 1. So that's $51. So we are correct. And I will tell you guys, I'm going to the fair today. So I might spend my allowance money, maybe all of it. We'll see. I just like going to the fair once every year because they just go around once every year. So we have $51 left and then our eating out is we spent $16 at McDonald's. $16 and then we had $21 when we stuffed our cash envelope last time. If it'll focus. There we go. My nails are horrible. Sorry guys. 
So we should have one, two, three, four, five. That is correct because we had a dollar left over from last time when we went to Zaxby's. It was like $19. So we had a dollar left over. So we have five dollars. That would be amazing that it's accumulating some money. And then for household, it's actually staying the same. I'm waiting till I have to pay for um, big things as far as like kitchen stuff goes and like toiletries so we still have ten dollars in there so that has to be touched and we don't have any unbudgeted so i'm gonna put a zero over here and then i'm gonna put a 10 dash and dash so that is the first weekly check-in for october i'm so excited to be in this month just because we have five paychecks and i'm just so excited for it i'm ready i'm ready to be stuffing all of my sinking funds my gifts my Christmas and my um, vacation for our cosplay convention by the end of this month. So I'm just so excited for it. I hope you are too. I hope you're having a great budget and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!